Right folks, it's the 29th of August 2020, it's a Saturday and I'm over near Banwell. I've got off the bus at the Summer Lane Junction near the motorway, crossed over to Wells Lane, past the Bone Cave area and then I found this track by accident. I didn't see it last time I was over here. So my theory is this will lead me to the monument. It's quite wide, isn't it? I thought I can't just leave it because the path I want is down there. What I can do is go up, try and get down and then join that path. That's plan A. If this could lead me to the monument, there's a tower or something up here. I can see something now. What I'll do, I'll just pop back down. Um, so the weather today, I had a really good day out at Robero, Sanford, Piney Sites and Cheddar the other day. Then we had a couple of days of dodgy weather and I'm out again. The reason I'm coming out, though I could walk here and back, is because we never know, once the kids go back to school, if the Covid will come as a second wave. Now this doesn't look like the tower. This doesn't look like... I had to come up here just to see. This might lead up to the track I was on before actually. So we just have a look. I see this is a big tank. It's water, I expect. But it might be the tower is further over. There's some sort of monument here. This could be it. Yeah, that must lead up from the house. Their own private lane. Right. Let's just pop down here a minute. Read what this says. Dr. Reynolds Gazebo. In the early 1800s, Dr. Francis Rand Randolph, vicar of Banwell, had a summer house on the east end of the village. He died on the 14th of June, 1831, aged 79. In the mid-1838, Bishop Law had the summer house moved and rebuilt here in memory of Dr. Randolph. Dr. Randolph is remembered as financing the miners to open the stalactite cavern and find in the bone cave. He was also the chaplain to the Duke of York, Presbytery to Bristol Cathedral and Rector of St Paul's Convent Garden. Repairs in 2018 by stonemason Amy Griffin, financed by visitor donations of the Banwell Caves Heritage Group. So I don't know if this is what I'm supposed to be looking for yet. I don't know, but look at this old tree bark here. This tree bark look for the arches. Still, this might not be the main thing yet. I'm sure it was talking about a tower. I wouldn't want to miss it. Right, here we go. Look, we're inside this gazebo. We're inside this gazebo. Right. Okay, bit of history. For the Banwell area that everyone knows about. I'm just going to take some photos and I'm going to carry on that path. I just as well, I'm over here to explore. Over and out. Right, carrying on from the gazebo. Just as well follow this track. I'm trying to do as much exploring as I can, to tell the truth. I mean, if I find it's too much to do both sides of uh, Banwell. What I'm going to do is to do one side, definitely, 
which is of course all this. And then uh, when I find out where the road is to the other, there's a gateway, look. The gateway. When I find out where the road is, which links me to the other side of Banwell Wood, I can come back and do that bit separately and then do a bit around the village. It might be too much today. I'm trying to be sensible. I'm trying to be sensible. Right, so we're coming up. I'm videoing this. We've got worse weather to come. I'm getting out when I can. And also, remember, we still got not very, very late evenings now. Not very many late, light evenings. It's old, doesn't it? Very old. But we've got... It's still light until at least half seven. Um, squeezing eight. So basically, that is good. This would be a circular walk for someone, because down below there, there's the track I took earlier in July or June, several months ago now. I took a, a path down the bottom there, past a herd of black cows came out, went over the top and followed a track down the bottom there back then I had to walk back to Hutton but I missed the bus no, I thought I could walk back it turned out to be a horrible road and it wasn't pleasant at all now marking this track is a series of stones it's well fenced off there, look. And the, the public footpath is actually right over there. Um, on the other side of a field by a, an old barn. But I've got to do this. So it's got to be done anyway, so I just want to do this first. days left in, sep in August now. It'll soon be September, everyone. Next week the children go back to school. It's a bank holiday weekend. Another stone. Hi, big stone. Full of history, no doubt. You look like you were part of something. We're coming to a clearing. It could be there's a tower here. So I can't not reach it, can I? Can't not do it. I've got a feeling like I can see a stone wall. We're coming out into a clearing in a minute. Yes, I can see a structure. So it's a good job we went on, Sheila. It's a good job you went on, girl. What I'll do in a minute, I'll turn off and take some pictures from here. Hold on a minute. Right, carrying on the video. Another short video coming, I'm going to... Carry on walking along here. It's funny, I was so close to this, you know, when I did that other walk. I hadn't really realised there was a, a huge monument like, like this here. And loads of these stones. You can imagine people having rituals out here, can't you? There's a balcony at the top. It's like a Rapunzel's Tower, isn't it? I expect you've got to get permission to go up well, on open days, I believe. God, a, maybe this is like a graveyard here. Bench there. Looks like there's a way up over there. There's always a risk getting your feet wet early. Um, what we do, we walk round 
We'll walk round first, see if there is another way up. There's a doorway there. I'll take some photos, some more photos in a minute. I'll take photos of all this. be a way up there. What I'm going to do is just wander back here a bit. What does that say? Yeah, it doesn't mean, it doesn't say you can't come up here, does it? I'm going to carry on there. It looks like there's another structure down the bottom. I'm keeping the camera rolling for now. While I walk up, while I walk up there, this is something I wanted to do anyway. I mean, I had thought about doing it on the way back, but um, it's just about do it now. Big metal door, look. Big metal door, sandstone. Some names in the wall there, let's see. Is there a date? Can't quite see what the date in there is. Um. Ooh! Doesn't look like you can get in. Can't see any dates. I'll walk round and I'll take some photos in a minute. Just walk round it. Saves your feet getting wet going in the grass, see? Oh, it's got a lightning conductor on it. Here's some more initials on here, look. Must be quite old, they're quite faded. 18, 1848, that one, 1848, that's pretty old then, that was put in there probably by the people that put it up. There's like a window there, look. A little window there. Oh, and up there we've got a, a hawk, but he's going to fly over the top of the tower. There's some sort of hawk flying high above. And of course down there is the path I came up a minute ago, and there's some seating with stones that might have significance. Uh, one stone. I don't want to walk on the grass. I don't want my feet getting too wet. There's got like a Looks like a cross of some sort on it So that could be of significance as well Circle of some sort could all be to do with the druids couldn't it this temple Another sort of name there Right, I'm going to turn off for a minute and see some photos. Right, I've just found this sort of animal pen. Don't know what sort of animal lived here. Could have been the Black Panther, could have been, could have been a tiger. Anyway, it's the gates open, so it's out. I thought there might have been a way down to a track on the bottom, but it's right, it's not far for me to walk back down. Um, It's not far. I expect this was electrocuted once. I wonder what they kept in here. It's even got water in it. Uh, 
No sign of anything now. It could have been a part of when they had it open to the public. When they had it open to the public. Yeah. Bloody checks. Right, this is where I just come in. So I just went had a web on me then. I just I thought there might be a route, there's a gate there, see? And what I'll do, I'll go back up, it's not far back down the track, uh, rejoin the path I wanted to take originally. But at least I've done this bit because I don't want to follow on, so I'd only have to backtrack anyway, because it's very thick, wet grass. And uh, I can't be bothered, it doesn't look like it's used much. Well, my boots are a little bit, they're not wet at the moment, you see. Anyway, I'm glad I've done this bit. I know where that goes. Because I, I, I cut across, last time I was here, I cut across further up. I didn't come up this way. There was only a narrow track then. So what I'm going to do is walk past, I'll just do the video as we approach the tower from this way and I'll turn off so we don't repeat too much. So we're just backtracking just a little way, just a little way, past the gazebo again and then to join the path I do want to get on. So it's a nice sunny day on the 29th of August 2020. So there was no sign saying shut or do not enter. So there's lots of these big stones everywhere as well. This was once a memorial. There's no plaque. You gotta go online to find out the details of this, which I will do when I do the write-up afterwards. I think under normal conditions you can go to, you're allowed to go up, climb the steps and have the brilliant views. So I will be back whenever they open it again. I will be back. Yeah. It's a very dodgy day really because I remember when the other day I had these big high clouds and then uh, that night it poured bucketed. It's supposed to be dryish today. But I have got my waterproof trousers and umbrella. Those are the things that usually save me the most and a very thin mac because it's too hot to carry a big coat, you see. Right then, over and out for now. <sighs>